Six weeks after 9-11, Breeders' Cup Day had arrived. It was New York's first international sporting event since the terrorist attacks. It was eerie. I was astonished when I walked with all the other jockeys across the track, out on the turf course, and we turn and we look up on top of the building, and there was a rifleman, there was a sniper, about, I don't know, every 100 feet, the whole length of the grandstand. It was so unusual. I mean, to go there and see something that wasn't the norm, all the security. It was just a tremendous sense of patriotism, felt by everybody. Everything was so patriotic, and you wanted everything to heal so rapidly, and you wanted everything so positive. Usually in, in days like that, it's competitor feeling, one against the other, but the overall sense, the overall feeling that we were pretty much all brothers. I did have some concern about which Tisnow was going to show up. So I, I warmed him up. We got our warm-up complete. He was moving beautifully on the muscle. On a big race, there's nobody you want more than Chris McKeeran. At that time in his career, he might have not been the most physically gifted rider, but he is really smart. I did go to Bobby Duncan, the head starter at Belmont that day, and asked him if he would send one of his assistants down the track and just go ahead and put a shank on him. And he walked right up there, and we got there ahead of everybody. And he just stood there kindly, and he, he just cocked his hind leg which is a great body language indication that he's relaxed. The crowd was so behind him. You know, they wanted the American horse. He walked into the gate on time. Ready for the start of the Classic. And they're off to the cheers of the crowd. Albert the Great is gun to the lead. But Path Day and Orientate are going to take the fight to him. And those two hook up in a speed duel in the first furlong here. Tis now not far behind. He's running third in the early going. He broke alertly and placed himself in the race where he needed to be. Galileo, only five lengths from the lead, he's fifth. The arc winner, Saki, is sixth on the outside. And I thought the arc would knock enough out of Saki that he wouldn't be that big of a factor. And what he tried to do is incredible to win the arc and the class. The quarter went in 23 and one fifth seconds of grueling pace here. Albert the Great grinding it out on a short lead now. And on the outside, the daunting presence of a horse of the year. Tis now, and he's right there just off the pace fourth. Saki and Galileo right there and behind the lead. He didn't accelerate when I asked, when I first asked him to accelerate at the quarter pole. And the field turns for home. Here comes the arc winner, Saki, and he storms to the lead. It was only until Saki passed us on the outside that Tisnow decided to go ahead and just turn on the afterburner. And Tisnow is doubling on. When he changes leads, he, he dives over to the, and his head and stride lengthens. Well, I went ahead and I tapped him once left-handed. Son of a gun, he took off. The American horse of the year, Saki was still flying. I thought, oh, we're going to run third. On the outside, Saki! And then, you know, same old mystery horse. All of a sudden, he says, no way. Bam! He goes between those two, and then I just quit breathing. I felt the acceleration. When I reached back and I tapped him on his left side, his head dropped a little bit, and I I literally felt the acceleration, and I my, my confidence swelled. Tis now fights on! And I just started screaming, ah! 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 Here's the one! I got goosebumps now, right now, remembering the feeling that I got. Um, and it, it was just exhilarating. And Tis now is doubling on the American Horse of the Year. Now we ask winner for a hands up with a very liberal in the classic. On the outside, Saki, Tis now fights on. Here's the winner, desperately close. Tis now wins it for America. When I stood up and I heard Tom Durkin yelling, Tis now wins it for America. It was just awesome. It was awesome.